In Gaza, meanwhile, overnight bombings in Gaza City have killed five people. Rescuers are still looking for survivors after an Israeli attack on a residential building. At least 30 others were injured. Let's get the latest on the situation on the ground in Gaza with Tariq Abu Azum, who's in Rafa Force. So more airstrikes across the Gaza Strip. Tariq, talk to us about the latest targets and what the Israeli military has been focusing on. Well, Gaza generally in the past few hours uh, fully has turned to be a battlefield between Hamas fighters and the Israeli soldiers. But what we can see here that Israel has been ramming up its military bombardment and uh, airstrikes in uh, on Anusarat refugee camp. As according to initial reports, that the Israeli military had bombarded a UN run school in the northern part of Anusarat refugee camp. This school, as everyone knows since the beginning of this war, it has been turned to be an evacuation center for thousands of Palestinians. There are still people trapped inside calling for rescue could be made within the coming hours. But civil defense crews are facing a clear uh, a problem in terms of accessing and reaching to the location of the targeting because of the Israeli intense bombing campaign there as the entire areas there have been witnessed collateral destruction because of the Israeli ongoing bombardment of residential houses. But yet not only Anusairat has been attacked today, but also the northern part of the territory where two Palestinians have been killed in a Jabalia refugee camp in the north and also a mosque in a Daraj neighborhood has been reduced to the rubble. But clearly the Israeli military spokesperson said that within the past few hours the Israeli forces have bounded more than 30 targets across the territory. Yeah, and this is happening, Tariq, as the United Nations warns that uh, cases of waterborne diseases such as diarrhea are increasing. Uh, because people in Gaza cannot access clean water and, and the weather is getting warmer. Talk to us about the conditions for people, not just in the south where many have sought refuge, but in central areas where some people are now returning to their homes. Well, it's really hard to describe the situation fully. The, the, this is the stark reality here on the ground. We are talking about that the Israeli military had systematically destroyed all water wells that completely provide water services for more than 1.9 million Palestinians. They have been attacking hospitals, which is responsible for providing medical treatment uh, for diseases that are resulted from the, uh, uh, the uh, wide spread of the deterioration of the sanitation conditions as Palestinians are completely suffering from day one to have a pure access to clean water uh, due, uh, due to the great disruption that being caused to the water system in Gaza. And it's worth noting that Israeli uh, military is taking full control over all lines that provides the Gaza Strip with water from the Israeli side as they have been provide, uh, they have been uh, even banning the flow of water to the territory and right now here with the destruction of the sanitation stations that are responsible for curing and providing pure water for Gazans. The situation is getting dire as waterborne diseases started to spread, including diarrhea and hepatitis A. Uh, among different Palestinians here across the territory, your hospitals are unable mm. to cure such uh, cases because of the lack of medical supplies and also with uh, the great number of casualties that from every now and then are arriving such hospitals. Indeed. Thank you, Tariq, for the update. That's Al Jazeera's Tariq Abouazoum live there in Rafah.